to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm just here by Oxford Square. It's a major junction here in Blackpool where Preston New Road meets up with Whitegate Drive. So I'm on Whitegate Drive now and I'm heading to the Saddle Pub, which is the oldest pub in Blackpool. And the reason why I'm going there is because they serve my favourite ale, which is Bass Ale. Now, yesterday was a special day. It was National Bass Day on the Saturday. I'm filming this on the Sunday, Sunday the 31st, Easter Sunday. Didn't manage to have a drink yesterday. So I'm heading to the saddle now and I'm going to meet up with a, a few friends there, fellow bass drinkers. And uh, we're going to celebrate National Bass Day today because it's the only pub in Blackpool that actually serves bass. There's loads of places they used to serve it. It's not as favoured now as what it used to be. They used to sponsor Blackpool Football Club. They used to have a brewery here in Blackpool as well. It was huge. Once the biggest brewery in the world. 1777 is when they started. And the triangle that you get on the bass, the bass logo, the red triangle, is the first ever registered trademark in the UK. So there you go. Anyway, we're getting close to the saddle now. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Yeah, so we're here on Whitegate Drive, Blackpool. And as you can see, we've got trees. Look at that. We have trees here on Whitegate Drive. We're just going past a little church here, look. St Paul's Church there. And that's right next to the saddle, which we will be seeing very shortly. Just up ahead there is Terry. Terry, what are we doing today? We're celebrating National Bass Day. Can I have a look at your socks? My socks. Just check out these socks that Terry has look, got here. here. Now this is somebody who <laughs> look at that folks. You cannot <laughs> you certainly cannot get more hard. Now Terry is an expert on basses. Well he's a he's a he's an expert on you're an expert on old ales, <laughs> aren't you really? <laughs> He's a barman, so he should know. I'm a big and we're fan about to go into the saddle. You're a big fan of? A big fan of bass. Oh, a massive fan of bass. We've got the sun shining now. We'll check out the beer garden. Let's have a look at the beer garden, shall we? This is the saddle, actually. The saddle. I'll show you the blue plaque in a second. This is the beer garden. Look at this. It's got a nice big beer garden there. There you go. Terry's just going to go in there now. Plenty of space here. And what I'll do is we'll just head over to the front and we'll check out the front of the pub. There you go, the saddle. Oh, we've even got a quiz night on Sunday. We'll have a quiz night later on tonight. Here's the blue plaque that tells you all about the history. Look at that, folks. Well, there you go. Oldest pub in Blackpool. Okay, so here we go. We're about to go into the saddle now. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh, it sounds a bit... Ooh, look at this. Wow. Oh, my God. We've got these tablets. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, folks. It is noisy in here today. That's the Lord's by the way, that room there. Oh, my goodness. It is so, so busy, Terry's at the bar. Oh, that's what it's all about. Right there, look. That's... That's the drink right there. Yeah. And it is very, very busy, but there's another room there called the Commons. So I'm looking there. Oh, sorry, it is really, really busy. Uh, hiya. Got the kitchen over there. They do really good food in here. There's what's on. And this is the bar. This is what they do. Strongbow, Guinness, Stella. Carly, what's that there? They have guest ales as well. Timothy Taylor's, Bolt Maker. Oh, it's really busy in here today. Look at this, wow. So I've just spoke to the nice lady at the bar there and she said the saddle is up for an external refurb. Yeah, so I thought it did look like some of the uh, paintwork on the outside did look a little bit patchy, so they are going to have the external uh, refurb going on very soon. So the saddle will look tickety-boo. 
yeah, anyway, we've come back out here to the beer garden and uh, we're gonna, uh, let's turn the camera around, here we are. Ooh, now then. Uh, yeah, not, not in the right colour. We do, we do have bath glasses here, but we're having to put up with these glasses. A Timothy Taylor glass. Uh, is that all right, Terry? Are we all right with that? <laughs> Will it have to do? I think it'll, I think it'll probably have to do. Thanks. Okay, so we're now here in the beer garden at the saddle. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, if you look at that pipe there, we've been told by a member of staff who's actually off duty at the moment that unfortunately the barrel that holds the bass ale has been knocked a little bit. And that means that the sediment has been kicked around. Is that right, uh, Terry? It's been it's kicked around a little bit. Yes. So as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but that looks ever so slightly cloudy. Hopefully, it won't affect the taste. It, these things do happen from time to time. I, I'm just going to taste it now. We'll, we'll try it, shall we? It tastes fine. It tastes fine, yeah, yeah. And like I said before, this is the only pub in Blackpool that serves bass. And when you think all those years ago, you know, we, we used to have all those breweries, didn't we, Terry? Um, we used to have the Bass Charrington Brewery. We used to have so many bass outlets. Have a look at a pub near you. It might depend on where you are in the country, but there were so many bass outlets and so many of them still have the logo, you know, the Red Triangle logo on the front but um, they don't serve it anymore and that's just the way things are nowadays isn't it and uh, that's right we're so lucky to have this pub right here the saddle that serves our favorite drink there you go <laughs> okay so our local bass expert terry here has just been telling me that there was a huge brewery here just off whitegate drive in fact it wasn't too far from where the tram sheds are. We're just down the road from where the tram sheds used to be on Whitegate Drive because the trams used to come down this road up until about the mid 60s when they, they took the tram lines away, they just tarmacked over them. But yeah, there was a massive brewery just over the back there. It was a Catterall and Swarbrick brewery and it was bought out by Bass. They didn't actually brew Bass there, but it was part of their empire. They bought it out. And uh, as, as for pubs in this area, we're just down the road from the number, sorry, the Ball's Head. We're not too far from the number four and also the number three. There's loads and loads of pubs around here. We've got the Rakes Hall as well. All of these were bass pubs. The Manchester on the promenade, that was also a huge bass pub. Still going today, the Manchester, although as, as I said before, the saddle here on Whitegate Drive, the oldest pub in Blackpool, is the, currently the only place where you can get draft bass. There you go. Now then, Got this the is logos. interesting, folks. Look at this, folks. Yeah. There we are. We have now got a proper bass glass. Look at that, folks. Still looking a bit muddy. It's still still looking. Now Terry here is an expert, like I said. But it tastes fine. But uh, it's tasting pretty good. I haven't finished my first one yet, but it's going down pretty well. And um, we're also members of a very special drinking group. It's called the Honourable Order of Bass Drinkers. And and uh, yeah, we do go on these outings. We go around, we, we come here. Um, we also go to places in Manchester. We go to Wigan, we go to lots of different pubs. We go on these, what we call mountings and things like that, where we sort of like a meeting and an outing. We have meetings, official meetings and that sort of thing. And it's all a bit of fun. And we only drink, we only drink this here. And that's what it's all about. The Honourable Order of Bass Drinkers. There's a bit of a discussion going on at the moment on where the number two... Did I mention the number two pub before? The number two pub? Yeah. I mentioned the number three and the number four, which are not too far away from here. 
But the number two, there's a couple of people here talking, where was the number two in Blackpool? But uh, anyway, um, let's turn the camera around. I just want to show you something. So we've got some Easter stuff there, which is <laughs> no good to you now, but burger and a drink from 8.49. There you go. You don't have to have bass. You can have your, your lager there, your beer and moretti, if you're into that stuff. Why get dressed? So like I said, the tram sheds were just... At, you see where the petrol station is? There's a Tesco garage there. The tram sheds were just in there, yeah. So, you know, on a football day, and it's a nice day, uh, this beer garden will be um, pretty busy. And they've got loads and loads of TVs inside as well. Of course, loads of TVs. It is an excellent pub to visit here in Blackpool. If you are coming to Blackpool, it's definitely worth taking a trip off the beaten track to come here to the saddle and if you do try out the bath let them know that i sent you and also try the food as well because the food here is excellent oh my goodness it's so so busy sorry i'm sorry that i couldn't film any more inside the pub it is absolute bedlam in, in the saddle today it is so, so busy. But yeah, that was a saddle here in Blackpool, Blackpool's oldest pub. And it's also a, a bass pub as well. Terry's just been telling me about a landlord who used to run the place in the 70s and the 80s called John Moore. Some of you might remember him. He used to keep a tight ship here. Uh, by the way, I've had a couple. <laughs> I've had a couple, so I hope I'm not slurring. So there you go, that was a saddle here in Blackpool. The only place in Blackpool where you can get bass. And don't forget to check it out. If you come into Blackpool, if you want to take a trip off the beaten track, it's definitely worth a trip here to the saddle. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.